Good morning guys, it's Tracy with Just Dig It Farms. Today we are cleaning out the chicken coop. Um, twice a year we come in and do a really good cleaning and repairing and stuff like that on the chicken coop. The chickens and the rabbits and my worms, the main reason that they're on the farm is to create fertilization and compost for the garden. And the design and the layout of our chicken coop is all about the most efficient way to let our animals create compost and fertilizer for our gardens. So in their coop, I always throw all the clippings and whatever spent stuff from the garden, I always throw in here and they just work it and eat all the bugs off of it and just turn it into mulch. And I throw all the kitchen scraps in here and they eat it and they just uh, turn it into fertilizer and compost out here in the run. Now over here, I have my rabbit hutch where this is Amos and Izzy. We're going to be rebuilding this rabbit hutch. We're going to make them a better rabbit hutch where they have more room and more air circulation and where they can play and everything. This is one of our projects we're about to start working on. But underneath the rabbit hutch, you see the worm composting bin. So all of their poop falls into the worm composting bin and um, the worms and everything that we feed them, they turn that into good compost for us. And the cool thing about this rabbit poop, it's not too hot and you can use it immediately. So the whole purpose of our animals here, our animal system here is mostly just to create us compost and fertilization for our garden. Inside the coop, which is where their nesting boxes are, and this is where they roost at night. So all underneath there is just some really good rich compost. And now we have our chicken tractor, which we are using to move some of the chickens throughout my garden beds. And they are just tilling it up for me and fertilizing it. See what they've done in just a week versus what it looked like before. So we implement the deep litter method, which you can uh, research that if you want to. It's a uh, Dr. Rob, R-A-A-B-E. It's the Berkeley method of hot composting. Um, and there's a lot of research and information on that. It's uh, out of University of California. So what the deep litter method is, is it's all about balancing the beneficial microbial levels inside the coop so that um, the litter, the poop, the shavings, all of that is actually creating the compost right inside the chicken coop. So that is usually a good balance of 30 to one. 30 parts of carbon to one part of nitrogen sources. So uh, the chicken poop is really, really, really high in nitrogen. So when you've got a chicken coop that's just full of all poop, that's really high in nitrogen, it has that horrible ammonia smell. By adding shavings or straw or whatever to the coop throughout the period of time, then you're keeping that good balance. You've got the, the carbon, the straw, whatever, and you've got your um, poop, the nitrogen, and then the feathers and everything that's in there, it just all creates the whole balance to create that good compost. <laughs> so what's the purpose in doing the deep litter method? Well, first of all, it's only a big effort like twice a year and pretty much the coop's taking care of, your, of itself throughout the six months. Um, every week we come in and do just a little bit of maintenance, but it only takes a few minutes. And I mean, that's pretty sustainable because over six months period of time, you're not having to do that much to the coop. You're not constantly shoveling it out and cleaning it out and it's stinking and you're fighting flies. And <laughs> We're letting the girls out. So you'll have really good compost within 18 to 20 days after you clean the coop out. And it keeps the odor down in the coop. I mean, the coop really doesn't smell at all. If you keep the balance right, then there's no odor in the coop, which also helps keep down the flies and bugs and stuff within the coop. 
and it just helps to have you know really healthy chickens so what we do is we do a really good coop clean out every six months spring and fall and that's what we're doing today we're doing our six month clean out so for the whole six months that you're leaving the the poop and the um straw and everything in the coop you're just adding a layer of the carbon source to that and then when we clean all of that stuff out, we put it inside our compost bin. And then from that point, it only takes 18 days and you've got good compost that's ready to go in your garden. So that's what I'm gonna show you on the deep litter method video that's gonna be coming up. But today we're gonna show you how the process that we take when we clean out the coop um, every six months. So this is step one of cleaning out the chicken coop. The first thing we do is we come to our local resource of sawdust. We stopped and asked a guy that owns a cabinet shop not far from our house if we could have his sawdust and he said sure. So we've been coming and getting this for a couple of years now. And we just, we bring the tractor over and then we fill up these buckets full. And then we take it home and we use this as bedding in our chicken coop, in Champ's dog pen, in the animal pens. So this is all of the pine shavings we went and got yesterday. We had a lot more than we needed and we're gonna use what we need to use for the coop and the run and then we're just going to pile it up over here. And then we have extra shavings throughout the six months to just keep adding to the coop to keep that balance right. So the next step is we're just gonna get inside the coop and the run. I'll start with the run and I'll kind of rake all this up. These bigger chunks of woody debris, I'm going to rake those up and put them in the other side of my compost pile where I just throw my garden clippings. I leave that one side designated just for the deep litter method. You don't want to keep adding stuff to that pile. You want this to break down quickly. So this big stuff like this is going to take longer to break down. So I'm gonna use that on the other side of the compost pile. You want this littler stuff, this smaller pieces, because it's gonna break down quicker. So I'm just gonna come in here and rake up some of this and shovel it out and put it in the compost bin. And then the coop will get all of this out of here, every bit of this, and start over brand new and fresh in here. These some limbs that have failed, that are still growing, but I'm gonna kind of get this tighter because as you can see, over time, they kind of, the weight of the limbs and leaves have kind of weighted it down. So if I, originally it was like, like that, but I gotta tighten this up. I'm gonna put another pole here and attach it so it's pulling back this way. I'm gonna try to take some of all this weight off of it. I cleaned out the rabbit hutches, cleaned those out really good. We got all the, cleaned up all the cobwebs. 
um, did a few repairs to the chicken coop that needed to be done. Filled in a few holes where some varmints could have got in and cleaned up the worm compost bin a little bit. I'm getting ready to use some of that worm compost in the garden. And this is my worm tea. So all the liquid from the worm compost stays at the bottom of this bathtub and then it comes out this little drain pipe here and that is worm tea you have to keep the liquid drained out of the worm bin or your worms will drown i come over here to my garbage can this is my compost garbage can and I pour you can see i've been pouring it in here I pour this liquid in here. Then when I get it about halfway full, I'll fill the rest of the way up with rainwater to dilute it because that's pretty strong stuff. And then I'll just use it to pour on my plants. So I am going to clean all of this out, put it in my compost bin, clean out their nesting boxes, freshen those up, clean up cobwebs and stuff, and I'm going to spray all this down, clean it up, and then we'll put new shavings in here, and it'll be set for about six months. This is my chicken coop cleaner that I use in here in the coop kind of spray everything down scrub it clean it up really good um, the recipe for this is one cup of water one cup of vinegar two tablespoons of neem oil neem oil is just a natural organic insecticide fungicide and a miticide it's um, the main ingredient in it is just derivative from plant material so it's 100% organic and it'll just help kill out any mites and stuff that might be in here. Um, one cap of Thieves Household Cleaner. That is a product from my Young Living Oils that I use. That is awesome. I use that for everything now, cleaning the inside of my house and everything. I don't use um, household toxic chemical cleaners anymore. I just use Thieves and it works amazing. Um, also in this, I put 10 drops of eucalyptus, 10 drops of lavender essential oil, and 10 drops of peppermint, and 10 drops of lemon. But this is just the basic recipe right here. So you may have to double it or half it or whatever according to the size bottle that you're going to use. But this is the basic recipe for this chicken coop cleaner that I use and it is awesome. It is going up to 100 degrees today. So we're going to let them out so they can go get some shade. It's just too hot under that tarp for them. Good morning. Y'all are working hard. Getting the garden spot ready.
Okay, we've got the coop cleaned out, shoveled out all the old, scraped all the hard stuff off the walls and the roost and post. Cleaned out the nesting boxes, got all the cobwebs down, cleaned everything up, sprayed it down really good with the coop cleaner. I don't worry about trying to scrub all that off. They're just gonna mess it up again. We just spray it good and clean it up the best we can. And now we're filling it back up with fresh shavings. Now that we've got it, all the shavings in here and everything cleaned up, we're just dusting the, um, the coop and the nesting boxes and the run. And we do champs pen too with diatomaceous earth. Food grade diatomaceous earth is what you wanna use. We also put a little bit in their food it helps to kill parasites and it helps with insects and fleas and ticks and mites and everything. So we use this diatomaceous earth a lot and um, probably about every other week or once a month, we come in and just put some in the coop and in their uh, dust bath spots where they take dust baths, it's good to put it there because it kills the mites and fleas and whatever that's on them. So we just dust the coop and you really don't want to be breathing this stuff in. I've got herbs planted outside their coop for a purpose. So now I'm going to go through the gardens around their coop and clean up a little bit, do some pruning, clipping, and I'm going to take all the clippings and put inside their nesting boxes. So these are the herbs that I have harvested out of the garden and I'm using to put in the nesting boxes in the chicken coop today. This is basil and bee balm, sage, parsley, rosemary, thyme, lavender, and oregano. So you can go check out my video on using herbs for healthy chickens. So the final step to our chicken coop clean out is we add oregano oil and some apple cider vinegar to their water. So we do this um, at the same time when we do the whole six month chicken coop clean out. And then throughout the month I alternate. So every once a week I'll use oregano oil, the next week I'll use some apple cider vinegar. And what this does is the oregano oil is a very powerful antibiotic. So in fact, a lot of chicken farmers are replacing antibiotics and using oregano oil in there in raising their chickens. It's a very powerful antibiotic and it kills parasites and it helps to build their immune system. So this is what we use. We've never used any antibiotics or anything like that on any of our animals. The apple cider vinegar aids in their digestion and it just adds an extra supplement of vitamins and minerals and other trace elements. It aids in helping with uh, respiratory issues, and chickens have very sensitive respiratory systems. That's another reason why you shouldn't use like bleach or anything like that to clean your chicken coop. That's why I use something natural to clean the chicken coop. 
but this helps to aid in uh, resp their respiratory system. It also helps in increasing egg production. We use the apple cider vinegar in the water. So what we do is just one drop of oregano oil per gallon of water. So I usually put about two to three drops in the water thing. And then it's one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar per gallon. So I'll use two to three drops of apple cider vinegar. So we cleaned up Champ's pen real good today too. We um, cleaned it out and sprayed it really good with some neem oil just to help kill any uh, fleas and ants or whatever that was in here. And um, I sprayed the inside of his house with the coop cleaner that had the neem oil in it too. And we put down fresh new shaving. We put some and oregano oil in his one he drinks out of. Put down a little diatomaceous earth and he is set with a clean pen.